Alright, let's get started in child's pose. So have your forehead on the ground. Knees wide apart. You can have your hands resting in front of you or down by your side, whatever feels the best for you today. And just start bringing your attention to the breath that's coming in and out of your nose. So this pose is really going to help you transition from wherever you're coming from into your yoga practice. So welcome guys, welcome to your yoga practice. Couple breaths here. And from here, just start reaching your hands out in front of you, planting your palms flat on the ground as you tuck your toes and lift your hips up into your first downward facing dog. So notice that maybe your legs are a little bit tight here, so you can take a few breaths as you bend one knee at a time to loosen up those tight leg muscles. Head and neck dangling free and fingers wide, pressing deep into the earth. And when you're ready, come into a full blown down facing dog as you lift your hips up high, heels of your feet, pressing close to the floor. One deep inhale and exhale, just drop your knees to the floor. When you get to the floor in a neutral spine position, just lift your left leg straight out behind you can flex your feet or have your knees bent. On an inhale, glance up softly, belly soft, and then left knee to right tricep as you crunch. Inhale, left leg up, belly soft. Exhale, left knee to forehead. Inhale, left leg up. up. And then exhale, left knee to left tricep. Inhale as you extend that left leg out one more time and then exhale just put it down on the floor And then when you're ready just lift your right leg up On the inhale belly soft glance up softly Exhale right knee to left tricep inhale right leg up exhale right knee to forehead Inhale as you lift that right leg up, glance up softly. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, extend that right leg out one more time, flex your toes. And then exhale, just put your right knee on the floor. And from here, just extend that left leg straight out behind you one more time. And then reach your right arm forward. Deep inhale here, exhale, put it down, and just switch. So right leg out behind you, left arm forward. One more inhale, exhale, put it down, and just step your feet back to plank pose. Take a deep inhale in plank pose. Exhale as you lower slow to the floor. Untuck your toes, and when you're ready, just come up into a super gentle cobra. Inhale in the cobra, exhale, chin touches the floor. I'm gonna do that a few more times. So inhale, come up into maybe cobra, like just a little bit deeper. Feeling those muscles in your back and your spine. Exhale, chin taps the floor. Inhale, come into another cobra. Exhale, chin taps the floor. And two more times. So inhale, cobra. You can come up a little bit more if it feels right for you. You can turn your shoulders side to side if that feels good. Exhale, chin taps the floor. Last chance, guys. So inhale, come to a full blown cobra. I'm gonna just hold it for five breaths. Exhale, chin taps the floor, push back to plank pose, and then all the way to downward facing dog. So when you get to down dog, I want you guys to just try to take your time and start walking one foot 
at a time in six inch increments until your feet get to your hands. This is kind of like you're stretching your calves with each step. And then when your feet get to your hands, on an inhale, come up and lengthen out your spine. Exhale, fold and just let your head and neck dangle free as you glance in between your legs behind you. So in this pose, you can grab your elbows, kind of creating a little bit more weight. That's going to help gravity pull the basically your entire backside down a little bit more without you doing any work and just breathe for five breaths remember your head and your neck neck are dangling free here you can even sway side to side if that feels good one more breath and then release your hands to the floor and on an inhale you're going to push all the way up to standing circle your arms up and stretch back if you decide exhale hands in prayer pose inhale circle your arms up high exhale fold so from here hands flat on the ground step back to plank take a deep inhale in plank exhale you're going to lower slow to the floor Inhale, come up into a cobra. Exhale, chin tap to the floor. Push up to plank and go all the way to downward facing dog. Deep inhale and down dog. Exhale, step or jump your feet to your hands. Inhale, lengthen out halfway. Exhale, fold. And then on the inhale, push all the way to standing. And you can stretch back if that feels good for you. And then hands in prayer on the exhale. Inhale, circle your arms up high. Exhale, fold. And then step back to plank pose. Take a deep inhale in plank. Exhale, lower slow. Inhale, come up into a cobra. Exhale, chin taps the floor. Push the plank all the way to downward facing dog. Gonna do that one more time. So. Deep inhale in, downward facing dog as you push your heels closer to the floor. And then exhale, you're gonna step your feet to your hands. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle your arms up high. Exhale, hands in prayer. Inhale, circle your arms up high again. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step your feet to plank and on the same Inhale, hold plank, and then exhale, lower slow to the floor. And then on an inhale, you're gonna come up into cobra. And then exhale, chin taps the floor, push the plank and go all the way to your downward facing dog. From down dog, you're gonna lift your right leg up to the sky. And then you can bend your right knee and stack your hips on top of each other. Draw a few circles if that feels good. And then on inhale, straighten out your right leg. Exhale, step it in between your hands. So we're in like a runner's lunging pose, right? Now have your left hand underneath your left shoulder. And then whenever you're ready, Lift your right arm up to the sky and twist. And then right hand back on the floor. Bring your right leg back to plank. Take a deep inhale and then exhale. You're gonna lower slow to the floor. Inhale, come up into a cobra. Exhale, chin tops the floor. Push the plank and go all the way to downward facing dog. And downward facing dog, you're gonna lift the left leg straight up into the sky. Bend your left knee, draw a few circles. And then on an inhale, strain that left leg as you push down with your right heel. And then step your left foot in between your hands. 
have the strong right arm, gonna press into the floor, and then you're gonna slowly twist and lift that left arm up to the sky and open up that chest and breathe. One last breath, exhale, left hand back on the floor. Step your left foot back to plank. Take a deep inhale and plank. Exhale, lower slow to the ground. Inhale, come up into a cobra. And then exhale, chin taps the floor. Push the plank and go all the way to downward facing dog. From down dog, you're gonna just drop your knees to the floor and open your feet wide and just start walking your hands towards your knees as you try to drop your butt in between your legs. So it's okay if your butt is not all the way to the floor. You can have your butt up here. What this pose does is it just brings some circulation and into those knees and those quads. So wherever you go, like, just matters that you're feeling some subtle sensation, but nothing extreme. So just go wherever you feel something and breathe. Whew. All right, so once you catch your breath, walk your hands out into a tabletop pose and cross your legs behind you and sit up onto your butt and bring your legs out in front of you. And then you're gonna take an inhale as you reach your arms up high. Exhale, fold and grab your toes and just breathe. So you can have your hands wherever, you know, they go. It doesn't have to reach all the way to your toes. It can be here or here, or it can be on your shin. But flex your feet and try to lengthen out your legs. So you're feeling like this stretch along the backside of your leg. And also try to keep your spine straight. So it's kind of like you're trying to bring your head to your toes as opposed to rounding your spine like this. So with the straight spine, you're folding. Just have your hands go wherever they go and breathe. Few more breaths here and then come back up slow and make sure there's room behind you and just lay all the way onto your backs. Hug your knees into your chest. And then as you keep hugging your right knee in, lengthen out your left leg and open your right arm to the right as you bring your right knee over to the left. And breathe. So this pose really, really loves a deep inhales and deep exhales. Just so really helps soften up those muscles. All right, so come back up to center. Give that right knee one more squeeze and then release it and then grab your left knee into your chest and squeeze as you lengthen out your right leg. Open your left arm to the left as you push your left knee over to the right and twist. Deep inhales and deep exhales, guys. Come back up slow, hug your left knee in and also hug your right knee in. 
Give everything one last squeeze. Take a deep inhale and exhale, release everything to the floor. Shavasana. So this pose is kind of like paying homage to your body's value and effort for going through that sequence. And you're like kind of rewarding it with this resting pose. So don't take this pose for granted. Just let your body fall heavily into the earth as you just try to relax as deeply as you can. Closing your eyes and drifting into a really deep relaxation. <laughs> <laughs> 